Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all my students. So we continue our video series on STM32 ADC interfacing. So for this series, I will show you how to interface STM32 with LM35 temperature sensor. Okay, uh, what is a LM35 temperature sensor? So this figure show the, uh, the, the, the figure for an M35 uh, sensor so it has three pin and we see uh, ground and P out okay LM35 uh, output is proportional proportional to the centigrade or Celsius temperature LM30, uh, resolution is uh, 10 millivolts okay 10 millivolts represent one degree uh, centigrade or Celsius. So, if an M35 output 100 millivolts, the equivalent temperature in centigrade or Celsius will be 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 Celsius. So, this sensor can measure from negative 50 degree up to 150 degree. Okay, so LM35 output temperature in Celsius and okay? So it increment the output by one on every 10 millivolt change in temperature. This means that when the sensor output is 500 millivolt voltage, so the temperature in Celsius is 50 degree. And for 400 millivolt output, the temperature is 40 degree and so on. Okay, this is a circuit diagram I draw in the produce. And so you go just go to the produce library and produce library and type uh, keyword lm35 and type the lm35 it will show you the all the lm35 uh, device you select the lm35 pre precision centigrade temperature sensor okay so this sensor has a uh, three pin and so pin one is connected to the power pin 3 connect to uh, ground and then pin 2 connect to the analog input eh? analog input in STM32 so in this example eh, example 5B so we use the AN1 or PA1 eh? analog channel 1 and eh? PA1 so in this example we want to read the value from temperature sensor so this temperature sensor value and then display in the uh, UART terminal and eh? visual terminal okay read the temperature sensor when we change the value so we can change the value in the uh, simulations and eh? so the value will display in the visual UART visual terminal so the configuration for clock DPIO and initialization for ADC so as same as in example 5a so i'm not uh, elaborate more on that matter so you can refer to the last video and uh, last video i already explained about the configuration and setting for uh, gpio clock and also for initialize the adc so in this example i explain a uh, uh, on the main part in eh, the while loop of the programs so this is how to read the value from sensors and display the UART terminal okay first we start with the coding uh, ADC CR2 is equal to 0040000 okay so this is a coding uh, to start the conversion on regular channel and then wait for the ADC conversion and monitor the status register and end of character P wait for the ADC conversion so when the conversion is complete and then we read the analog value and from the data register and ADC one data register and then we look into the uh, variable we name is as analog value so this is a variable so we declare this variable first at the top of the, our program. So the, the name is analog value. So you can change any any name 
and for your variables so for this program i use the analog value so to load the uh, value from the the, the raw data and eh? raw value from the uh, temperature sensor okay okay so the value read from the temperature sensor we convert to the uh, convert to the temperature using uh, using the formula lah. so this is the formula okay so the analog value the raw data we times with uh, 5 volt so this is in a millivolt so you we use the 5000 5000 is 5 volt and then we uh, divide by divide with uh, 4096 okay so this is uh, the the resolution for stm32 stm32 is uh, 12 bit 12 bit so you have a uh, uh, 2 power of uh, 12 is equal to 4096 okay so uh, divide by 4096 and then we get the voltage out and then the temperature we divide by 10 temperature is also voltage divided by 10 and because the the resolution for an m35 is 10 millivolt eh? it increment the output by one on every 10 millivolt in temperature okay we save the the value in the the variable name is as temp and eh? shop uh, temp so this is variable eh? and then after that we want to print and eh? we want to display uh, all these three uh, value this three variable we want to display analog value voltage and temperature so you just print analog value is so write percent d the percent d is mean that uh, we want to, to display in uh, decimal decimal value so this is analog value this is a variable analog value so analog value is so this is a variable and then we enter and then a new line voltage out is voltage out and then print temperature is temp this is temp uh, the variable temp and then we new uh, new line and then delay and then we continue read and display again for the any change in the next value okay so this is continuous eh? okay this is uh, our main program in the y loop okay we show you the the, the simulation okay the simulation okay so i already write the program the program and compile so just run the program so when we run the simulation so this will display the analog value voltage out and temperature value so now temperature is uh, 30 right 30 degree so if we decrease decrease okay uh, click the arrow button and decrease arrow button so we decrease to 25 25 so the value is 25 eh? the analog value is the temperature value is 25 we follow the the the, uh, the value in uh, lm35 here eh? so we decrease to 20 so we'll show the uh, temperature value is 20 okay So if, uh, if you want to uh, display in uh, in in floating, so we just type temperature value is percent point two F. Two F means uh, two D two digit eh? two D two D two digit after point. Eh? So you just type F. It means we display uh, in uh, floating only so but you need to first uh, you need to make sure that you declare the temperature 
in float okay not in integer in float so when you write uh, f Okay, and then you run again. Oh, oh some error here. Okay, just write uh, f not uh, dot f f the only f and you compile and then you run game okay we display okay this both in decimal so this is in the float eh? but we are not limit to uh, how many digit in float so you uh, show 20.00000 so you want to limit only two digit after the decimal point Okay, just type uh, point two. Okay, point two f is mean a uh, two decimal. Just uh, limit to two digit after decimal point. Okay, so it display to twenty point zero zero. So we we'll increase twenty one point zero zero. Okay, 21.00 Okay, this is a for one temperature one temperature. So if you want to add uh, another temperature and add Another temperature we want to Read from two temperature okay? Like this, eh? so we want to read from two temperature. This is a temperature one this is a temperature two. So temperature one we connect to PA0 and then temperature 2 we connect to PA1 and then we want to show uh, both uh, temperature in virtual terminal example temperature 1 is equal to 25 temperature 2 is equal to 30 okay so in ADC configuration okay this is a uh, both temperature lah. So the clock and the PIO are same as in example 5A and 5B, but in ADC configurations, uh, we do a little bit uh, changing. And so first we start uh, prescale is same as before, and then set the channel zero and channel one to maximum sampling rate, because this time in this example we use two channel and eh? channel zero and channel one. Channel zero and channel one. So we need to set up this both uh, both channel uh, to maximum sampling rate. If you want to use in maximum sampling rate, so this one equal to one one one, and then sampling rate for channel one is equal to one one one. So in binary is equal to zero zero one 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 one. It means three <coughs> f. So we type recording ADC one go to SMPR2 go to 3F and then enable the NAC ADC for first time and enable the ADC for the second time and then we on the calibration okay on the calibration <coughs> okay in the while loop this is the main program the while loop so we need to uh, read temperature two times the first is for channel zero and we set the ADC SQR3 sequence for channel 0. So you read the, uh, we set the select the channel 0 for sequence and then delay and then we start the conversion on regular channel and then wait for the ADC conversion complete. So we read the 
first uh, reading from temperature uh, 1 in channel 0 and, and then put the data in the analog value this is a variable is same as uh, before so the voltage out and then the temperature this is the temperature 1 and so uh, uh, temperature 1 we put in the variable temp and then we change to the channel 1 sequence ADC1 SQR is equal to 0001 so we change to the channel 1 and then read gain same as uh, uh, for channel 0 uh, except that we use the another uh, variable and this time we use the uh, analog 2 voltage 2 and temperature 2 and so we save the uh, value from temperature 1 and temperature 2 in the uh, variable called temperature 2 and then we print and we print the temperature 1 value is so put a uh, temperature 10 and then print the temp 2 value is temp 2 this variable temp 2 okay okay and then uh, compile the program okay. and then you run which again Okay, we show the temperature value is 25, temperature 2 is 30. So this is a, a temperature 1, eh? temperature 1. So let me change to 20. So temperature value is 20 and temperature 2 is 30. Change the temperature 2. So display temperature 2 is 32. Okay, so it is both uh, temperature and then display to the visual terminal. Okay, uh, that's all for the STM32 interfacing with uh, ADC. Uh, so this uh, uh, we interface with the temperature sensor. Okay, see you again uh, next time. Thank you for watching this video.